And welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Let's keep going. Oh, hi, mice. Maybe they're friendly. Nope, they're not friendly. They're never friendly. Why are there giant uh, mice in? Oh my god, he just smashed me. Oh, 10 HP. That's not that bad. Oh, come on! He just smashed me twice in a row. That kind of hurt. I could use some cookies now. You want to play mice, mouse? Yes, not one minute. Why do these enemies keep sma er, getting smash attacks off on me? He got another two in a row. That's not normal. What's over here? Besides this guy. I think the game hates me. Do you think the game hates me? Now I'll just show off this battle. I don't feel like getting it out. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Jesus, why did why don't any of them attack more than a uh, one at a time? It's getting so many smash attacks. That is not normal. Oh hey, specs. Nope, it's a new type of enemy. We're fighting ants. Either the ants in this world are humongous, or Ness is kind of a pussy. I mean, you could probably just step on them. In fact, that would probably be easier than, uh, what was it? Just hitting them with your bat, but oh well. Although they leave behind a crap ton of HP. And we're level 9 now. Ooh, that's a lot of HP. Nice. I might as well use that cookie they dropped. And all of that for nothing. Great. Well, let's go up. Who tied all these ropes here? Ah, oh, great. They're together now. No, no, no. Oh, fine. I'll face them both together. Why not? But yeah. Basically, once you encounter an enemy on the world map, any nearby enemies will also rush towards you. So it can get kind of overwhelming at times. Oh, that's good. Sometimes a uh, PSI rocket tends to fail sometimes against uh, the black antoids. Also, they keep dropping cookies. I don't need cookies. They just clutter up my inventory. Crap. Oops, weird edit there. And let's see what's in here. Hello? Is there- Ooh, treasure! And just some mice. Might as well face them. Ah, uh, oh, that didn't do very much at all. Huh. It seems when I cut out battles, they tend to do several smash attacks. Oh, never mind, I talked too soon. He's gonna get a smash. Yep, he's gonna get another smash attack. That's not right. That is right. That's actually kind of useless. Pretty soon, uh, coals aren't gonna be that big of a problem. Once Ness learns some more PSI. And now he's waiting for me. Great. Two of them are waiting for me. Oh, new enemy. Attack slugs. They're useless. See, he's dead already. Now, oh, stop calling your friends. Also, why are the ants in this molehill psychic? Huh, that's weird. And they keep dropping cookies. Eh, I can, I can actually use that one. Anything else around here? I see enemy- Oh crap, I didn't see that one. Just more antoids. Oh hey, we're outside again. Ooh, magic butterfly. First things first. Gotta heal. And then gain my PP back. By eating the butterfly, apparently. That or touching the butterfly makes it explode. Either way, I got my PP back. That's all that matters. And I see antoids everywhere. 
If I don't move, they won't attack me. So, oh, never mind. Oh, I can one-shot them now. Nice. I think I can only one-shot them one at a time at this point. And I found some hamburger. A hamburger. Some hamburger. That doesn't make any sense. Actually, let's explore the lower part first. Oh, pff, Double teamed. Or not. And cookie. What's down here? Absolutely nothing. Okay, you know what? I'll, uh, I'm just gonna leave for a minute. Let's see how the enemy pattern is now. Oh, I can handle that. One shot him. I love that system. Don't have to fight any unnecessary battles after a certain point. Only one. I can handle that. Let me guess. Yep. Insta win. Oh, I actually leveled up from that. Ooh, healing alpha. Uh, oops. That's not what I meant. Healing is basically for, uh, for status ailments. I think healing alpha can cure colds, sunstroke, and crying, I think? I don't remember. I'm not sure. Although there's one way I can check. Sleep. That's it. Alright, let's keep going. Who tied all these ropes all over the place? I mean, this place is filled with dangerous killer mice and ants and a giant sparkly thing. Okay. But yeah, first real boss of the game. Titanic Ant. First thing is first, I want to get rid of his little friends hiding behind him. Hopefully this works. I forgot how much he hurt hits. Let's get rid of those antoids first. Now then. This guy's actually kind of tough. Mostly because I don't have shield yet. But he does. Shield alpha basically uh, lowers the... I think it only affects... No, it does affect physical attacks. But basically PSI attacks are now completely useless against him. And I need to heal now. Oh god, no, no, no. Come on, heal, heal before... Oh. I got too cocky. Yes, please. I got too cocky and I thought I could win. Before, or I thought I could... He didn't need to heal. Yeah, the first part of the game is a little tougher than the rest. I'll be right back. Alright, Titanic Ant. Take two. Let's try that again. Um, I was here before. Sorry about that. Let's try this again. I should have healed all the way beforehand. Oh well. First things first, like always, take out his minions. Not too tough. Okay, now would be a good time to heal. Because Ness is kind of slow, unfortunately. And he's lowering my defense by one, which for this part of the game is actually quite a bit. And now he's trying to steal my PP. And he succeeded. And Ness can't hit the giant six foot ant for some reason. Stop it. Your debuffs are annoying. Ow. Ow. Healing time. Oh crap, wrong attack! Oh, that worked. I thought I was gonna heal, but oh well. This is kind of in bad shape right now. Ooh, nice. Well, that worked. Barely. Let's see what he was guarding. A giant footprint. I think Bigfoot was here. Aw, puppy. Yep. Goal of the game, collect all eight melodies on the soundstone. Oh, and by the way, every time you uh, visit a sanctuary location for the first time, you automatically get fully healed. That's very nice. Since now we have to walk back through the entire dungeon. Although things are a bit different now. 
You'll see. But yeah, see? Basically, when you defeat the Sanctuary boss in every dungeon, the enemies will start running away from you, no matter how powerful they are. So yeah, it, uh, enemy encounters from now are pretty much optional in this dungeon. Yeah, they're gonna run away from me. Although, yeah, oh, Green Squirrel. Oh, he joined uh, his uh, friend. But yeah, if you get enemies from behind, you'll get that little green swirl. That means you get an extra turn. On the other hand, if they get you from behind, they'll get you'll get a red swirl. That means they get an extra turn. Also, my inventory is being filled with cookies again. Great. Run for me! Yay. They fear me now. Let's get out of here. Anyone here? Ah, huh. no enemy spawned. That's strange. Oh, there's some. And I don't want to face them. They might try to come together in one encounter. I can only one shot them when they're alone. Speaking of which, uh, how much HP? How much until the next level? 300, not enough. I'm not getting grind. Forget it. Run from me! Fear me! I don't think I actually looked in here yet. Oh right, there are the treasure chests in here. Present. Ooh, skip sandwich. Wanna see what that does? Other than restoring a bit of HP, it makes us move faster. Those are pretty nice. Since there's no run command in this game. Whee! I don't want to know what's in that... Ooh, hi. No? Okay. We all skip sandwich wore off. But kinda makes you wonder what's in those. If it makes you run that fast. Kinda supports my statement that Giant Step is the home for uh drug smugglers. What's over here? The back of I think it's a library, isn't it? No, that is I don't want to know what they're doing in there. Okay, I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm stepping on someone's flowers. Oops. I think I just stepped on someone's heart. Anyways. Oh, I think that's it for this episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Next episode, I think we're in trouble with the police. Maybe we shouldn't have trespassed. Oh, well, I'm sure they just want to talk. So, till next time.